Casimir. It's nice. Do this very often. Or drink whiskey from a dusty glass. Come to a man's house just after meeting him. Yeah, well, I'm harmless. Yeah, Dee. Sure you are. Explains my attraction. I've always had a thing for surfers. I write for the Paranoid Times. Cool. I've got that site bookmarked. Doing the lead story this month. Here, let me show you. Hey, surfer boy. How about I wax your board? Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. for the past 22 days. Borrowed five grand from my Uncle Harry. Been using cover identities to stay one step ahead of the law. I anonymously contacted the FBI, CIA, and the Department of Defense about the alien experiment that killed my wife. As expected, no response. When you're wanted for murder, every move is critical. The wrong choice can be fatal. This is the life of a hunted man. This is my life. I'm Kate Foster. I used to believe little green men belonged on the supermarket tabloid shelves, next to the latest sightings of Elvis. But now I know different. The aliens are here. 
And if I'm gonna clear myself of this murder charge, I've gotta let people know. I've come to Potomac, Maryland in search of a man known as Crazy Eddie. He publishes a web page on the internet called The Paranoid Times. A document that seeks to expose the evil conspiracies and dirty little secrets of those who hold power. The masthead on Crazy Eddie's webpage says, Believe the unbelievable. If anyone ever needed a believer, it's me. I'll shush kebab your throat, you don't raise your hands. Eddie Nambulus, publisher of Paranoid Press? Shut up. I asked the questions. What are you doing here? I got a story I thought you might be interested in. I've been diagnosed with acute paranoid disorder, so sneaking up on me is a very bad idea. How the hell did you find my location? I met a hacker in Michigan. Five shots of tequila and he fessed up your locale. That damn Nicky Owens. Lush. This article about cloning has similarities to my own story. That's why I came. You're not here to kill me? I need your help. Can we talk inside? What's your name? Name's Kate Foster. My wife was killed and replaced with a clone. I was framed for a murder. Why should I trust you? You shouldn't. You're paranoid. I saw my wife's clone. Hey, trust me. You're gonna want to hear my story. Let's go inside. Nice saber. Sword that killed Lincoln. Lincoln was shot. That's what they tell you. I was one of 117 subjects in an experiment designed to test human will. They stole our money, killed our loved ones, destroyed our lives. I think I was the only one to survive. Who do you think's behind the experiment? CIA? No. FBI? NAC? Don't think so. Defense Department? Clandestine black chopper units? Think it was aliens. <laughs> For a second there, you really had me going. What are you talking about? Half your back issues are about aliens. That's part of the reason I came. I was wrong. That whole truth is out there, BS. It's just a government scheme to keep our attention away from the real crap that's going on right under our noses. Like what? Big brother, man. Control of the population through cloning, brainwashing, secret societies, devaluation of currency, you name it. Why would the government run cloning labs? They duplicate Lee Harvey Oswalds. Oswalds? The story Dean Harmon was investigating. He broke into a government cloning lab, stole a piece of evidence, Warning he was in danger. Haven't seen him for three days. God, God damn it, I can't get the key. No, I'm not. Pretty handy talent. That's a file Dean Hormuth brought me. He's my top writer. Somewhere around here, a government cloning lab has been growing human bodies for a long, long time. Somehow, Dean found that lab. And he may have solved the most mysterious US assassination of the 20th century. The lone nut theory? Hogwash. 
There were six sightings of Lee Harvey on the day that Kennedy was assassinated. Cuba, Moscow, Washington, Miami, Dallas, and Poughkeepsie, New York. Are you saying these Oswells were manufactured around here? Lee never told me the location. Well, can we go to his house? Can we check it out? I'm not doing anything with you. It's alien hunters like you that give guys like me a bad rap. Why don't you stop watching the X-Files and get yourself a life? I got nowhere to go, Eddie! No, I need your help! Get your hands off me! I work alone. I don't like you, I don't trust you, I don't believe in you. I'm not gonna drop all my important work and pick up some cockamamie story about little green men! Eddie says Dean Hormuz stole something from the cloning lab. I'm curious to know what that something is. If Eddie won't tell me, maybe Dean will. Some high-tech security, Dean. decorating. just broke down on the overpass. I was just wondering if I could use your phone to call a tow truck. used to describe me. Dean said you were cute. You know Dean? He wants you to give me what he stole. Oh, my God. Give me the orb, and I might let you live. Got the foreplay, sweetheart. You stole <gasps> Off. Where do you think you're going? Huh? You just don't know when to quit, do you? Maybe you have what I'm looking for.
You still don't believe in aliens, buddy? What she want? Maybe she was looking for this. Couldn't help it, Foster. She was beautiful. She wasn't human, pal. You see a face flash when I walked in? What are you talking about? You saw her arm disappear, right? The CIA has a toxin that can make flesh dissolve. Whatever. Why was she after this thing? Well, clearly it's part of the cloning process. Metal alley shell, smooth surface. High-tech golf ball. Very funny. This thing was glowing a minute ago. Let's see if we can find out what it does. The orb they stole holds the consciousness of Joshua. These fools have one of our most powerful leaders in their hands, and they don't even know it. It was a mistake for you to get Joshua. I would have succeeded if that man hadn't interrupted. Well, you did not succeed. So now we've had to prepare a new human husk to replace the arm that you lost. Sometimes it glows and sometimes it doesn't. Look at this, radio frequency emissions are off the scale. How come you got an RF detector? Are you in electronics? I used to be a thief. Of course you were. <sighs> okay, well, I guess it's an energy source. Yeah, well, not a normal one. Dean say where he got this thing from? And Dean would never reveal the source. Whether this is a, an alien technology or a Lee Harvey Oswald battery pack, we got to get it to the authorities. Just who might these authorities be? FBI, Pentagon, National Security Council. Someone who can tell us where this thing comes from. Hmm. You're a wanted murderer. I've been hacking into government computers since I was 13. How far you think we'll get? The alternative? I got an idea. Downloading AMSA-1 memory essence. Binary download complete. Uploading AMSA-2 memory essence. Binary upload complete. AMSA, are you conscious? Yes. Neural function complete. We will retrieve Joshua. Here's your little bag of tricks. Sorry. Where'd you get this? There was another guy, Mayhew. He was part of the same experiment. He killed himself. I found that manuscript buried on this property. These look like original verses of Nostradamus. If these are authentic, they could be worth a bundle. On the seventh dawn of the seventh day, a twice-blessed man will roam the fields, doomed to shadows with his brethren, or savior to all who walk the ground. I thought I'd read every quatre Nostradamus ever wrote. But never these. He found it in Normandy. Normandy. 1564. Nostradamus is nearly blind. But his powers are at their height. He retreats to a mountain monastery and writes prophecies for the next millennium. His greatest work. The book vanishes. Some say it was burned in fire. Others that it was stolen by a secret organization known as the Illuminati. Who are they? They are the puppet masters who control the banking system. And every world government.
This is their symbol. Don't you get it, Foster? This could be the last Nostradamus. I won't fail this time. You're not going. Joshua is important to me, Anton. Your job is to oversee the transfer. Have you ever lost someone? Can't you understand my dilemma? Those humans have Joshua. Let me get Joshua. Your responsibilities to the mission. You're right. Please bring him back. I've already grown a very special husk. Our friend. Dean Horman. So who is this guy? Roland Kelso, PhD in neuroscience. He studies the workings of mammalian brains. Some kind of uh, an animal shrink? His lab has sophisticated equipment to help us analyze exactly what makes a little golf ball tick. Back in 82, the government ran a program to use dolphins as delivery systems for small nuclear warheads. Roland trained the dolphins for two years. What a guy. How do you know him? He needed me to hack into government files, prove the existence of the program. To expose the government? No, to blackmail the government. Look in a dictionary under greedy, you'll see a picture of Roland. I put the object in a tank with a dense electromagnetic field. I measured the energy fluctuations. It's amazing. What did you find? Well, the electrical discharges actually take the form of alpha rhythms. Speak English, huh? An electroencephalogram gives you a reading of the mind's overall electrical activity. Let's see just how smart this thing really is. I don't know where you gentlemen got this thing, but I can bet it wasn't legal. I'm 50-50 for the patent or... Uh, I'll have the law all over your necks. The wave patterns spike like a human brain, only stronger. Larger brain capacity? An artificial intelligence that mimics the human brain? Oh, no computer can do that. Do you know what the computer industry would pay for that? Think of the applications. It's like having a working brain in the palm of your hand. Who could have manufactured something like None this? None of the majors. I would have heard about it. If this thing was manufactured, then we can recreate it. The financial potential is astounding. That's not what we had in mind. Well, then you're a fool. Roland, look. I can get development money? We need to find out who manufactured this and where. We need to manufacture it ourselves. You don't understand. Roland, the graph is spiking. You are not cutting me out, buddy. No! Get back to the tracks. Get back to the tracks. He's okay. He's okay. To affect the transfer. The Buddhists believe in the reincarnation of the soul from one animal shell to another. What are you saying, Eddie? This thing is some kind of a delivery system, a FedEx from outer space? There's no proof that this is alien in origin. Roland said it was mechanical. Well, maybe Roland was wrong. Look, I've seen classified KGB documents that describe a mechanical device used to create six different Lee Harvey Oswalds. Enough with the Oswalds. Why are we going back to Dean's? We need to find the cloning lab, Eddie. And Dean knew the address. Shot. All the files have been deleted. We gotta find the address to the lab. You think he would have left any paper evidence? Nah, he's a webhead. Papers for dinosaurs. Dean! What the hell are you doing? Where you been? Eddie. What are you doing here? I was worried about you. You didn't return my email. I thought somebody offed you. I've been on the trail, man. The story's bigger than big. I know, I know, man. Wait till you hear what's been going on. Sorry. That's Cade, fellow traveler. 
You okay? Yeah. I gotta show you some equipment I snared from the lab. Foster already found it. Mind if I get it back? Where is it? Hey, hey. Dean. Uh, you always leave your place looking like this? I mean, it's kind of weird, don't you think? You didn't even mention your house was trashed. What's your problem, Foster? What happened to your paranoid instincts, Eddie? This isn't Dean. What are you talking about? Uh, Where is it? Hey, Dean, take uh, it easy. Uh, give me the arm! Eddie! Give it to me! Now! Give me the arm! Uh, uh, Eddie! Uh, uh, Die, alien scum! I always want to say that. I don't like to leave evidence around either. Self annihilation, it's pretty clever. Thanks, Eddie. You're welcome. This is a Dean machine. You love this car. Hey, breaking and entering is a class A felony. I won't tell if you won't. Look for anything that might be an address. Parking receipt, anything. business even if we find the lab i'll just think we're madmen foster sometimes madmen turn out to be prophets what's this that's a gps what's a gps it's a global positioning system it's going to tell us where this car has been move 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 come on What the hell is that? It's a modified Nymark. It's got a digital cellular connection hooked up to my computer at home. It's got more power than most small countries. Let's see where this baby's been. Can they give us an address? Elementary, my dear Watson. That's his gym. That's his office. Presto. 2113 Corman Drive. Yes, Eddie, yes. Okay, I've got my camera. Ready to go. Her name was Hannah. She's beautiful. Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. I'm just warning you. You've got to watch out. These people are ruthless. I've watched them work. There's nothing they won't do. I don't mind admitting that I'm very, very frightened. I'll go alone. got a triple backup. I'm not gonna be able to shut it off completely. Then let's go home. What I can do is give us a window. Put a breaker in the system for 20 seconds. That should give me enough time to pick the lock. 20 seconds? Come on, there's not enough time, Foster. Eddie, you're distracting me. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5,
and then lead Harvey Oswald. Looks like paranoid times is about to increase its circulation, pal. I've waited 20 years to find evidence like this. We've got ourselves a room full of clones. We have to be careful. One of them has Joshua's orb. See that sound? Man, it's freaky. Look, they all have one of those golf balls. A transfer of alien consciousness. Why would they do this? Well, think about it. If you're an advanced team of aliens, send you to spy, how would you get here? What if your planet was too far away to come by ship? If you wanted to look like us, be us, what would you do? Grow the bodies here. And infuse them with consciousness. Homegrown aliens. Wonder where they're from. How long have they been here? And how many of these bodies have they sent into the world? Hundreds? Thousands? I don't know. But we'll find out soon enough once we get the cops swarming all over this place. Let's get out of here. Give me the orb, and you'll both go free. No deal. That's my only leverage. This is 911 emergency operator. What's your emergency, please? If you speak to the operator, your friend dies. Hello, is anyone there? Get out of here, Foster! Please. Get help! Hang up the phone, Mr. Foster. Your address, please. Is anyone there? Tell them the address, Foster! <laughs> we cannot read your phone number from the line. Please pick up the receiver. Foster, call the cops! Your only chance! Come here or I will kill him. I can't send emergency assistance without the address. Right now! Is anyone there? Address, please. I will kill your friend. I want the orb. Please pick up the.
had the computer scan some of these quatrains. Check it out. From leagues away shall they arrive and rain blind terror upon all men. An empty vessel for the soul, the wretched beauty sleeps no more. Empty vessel? I mean, we're talking about the transfer. Nostradamus predicted this 400 years ago. Why, well, that's stretching it a bit, don't you think? This is a real deal, Foster. I think Nostradamus wrote this book to fight these sons of bitches. Look, there's another prophecy I had scanned. Century one, quatrain one. Nostradamus believes that destruction of the earth will come in three waves. Third wave, Armageddon. Second wave, invasion from above. And the first wave is already here. And if we stop the first wave, we can prevent the others. It says it all right here. It doesn't say how. Actually, there's one more thing. The page that was marked, Century 3, Quatrain 18, the seventh dawn of the seventh day. I read it. How does one day have seven dawns, Eddie? Actually, every day has 24 dawns. One for each time zone. Nostradamus wrote these puppies in France. Exactly seven time zones ahead of Chicago. What's your drift? Chicago's your hometown. He was talking about you. Nostradamus is full of crap. No, he's not. You're the twice blessed man. Twice cursed is more like it. the seventh dawn of the seventh day, a twice-blessed man will roam the fields, doomed to shadows with his brethren, a savior to all who walk the ground. Journal entry number one. I'm gonna seek these bastards out. Wherever something weird is going on, you're gonna find Cade Foster. With the help of my friend, Eddie Nambulus, what I find will fill the pages of paranoid times. Maybe it'll be a road map for others in the months and years ahead. Because we got a long way to go if we're going to save this Earth. We know they're here. They live in beautiful human shells. Maybe our race is too attracted to beauty to be able to spot the evil that lies within. On my bad days, I wonder if the human race is even worth saving. But then I think of Hannah. We can beat them. Believe in ourselves and each other, and we'll kick their asses all up and down the street. As my buddy Eddie says, sometimes madmen turn out to be prophets. Uploading Joshua Memory Essence to Human Husk.
Joshua. I am here. 